Lakes at Legoland, Florida, and we're in the technic section of the park. And I imagine that your job is pretty busy in a park of this size. It's really busy right now. We've got grand opening coming tomorrow. Uh, we've got every one of our techs on staff right now uh, working today to get ready for the big day, and uh, we're ready. And how long have you been on the boat? Were you involved with um, transferring the rides that came from Cypress Garden and getting them ready for Legoland? Yes. Uh, I started almost two years ago uh, with the infrastructure here, and uh, we've, we've actually refurbished several rides in the park already, and uh, some of them came from Europe, and we put them in over here. And were there any challenges, like say with something like the Island in the Sky is a classic ride, is it difficult to get parts or to get that ready, or was that too much of a challenge? Well, it was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we, we totally refurbished that ride. Uh, we had to lift 1.2 million pounds all at once to change the main bearings. Uh, so it was a little bit of a challenge, but uh, we met the challenge and it's doing very well. Yeah, I'm glad to see that you decided to keep uh, a lot of the classics yeah. here. And how about the roller coasters? Uh, pretty held up pretty well over the years? Yeah, we, we uh, replaced a lot on the coaster stores, which is a wood coaster. Uh, about three and a half truckloads of wood. And I uh, worked on it for about seven and a half months to get the wood to work back in order. And um, once the park is open and running, um, how will that go like a typical day? I imagine that you've got like pretty regular maintenance and inspection busy routine. We, we do. We have a, a 21 man crew right now just rides and they're responsible to make sure all the rides are safe. Um, that's headed up by Tim Boldick. He's my rides manager. Uh, many years of experience in this business. And uh, they start at 4 a.m. my first shift. And I have another shift coming at 12.30, so they run the park through the rest of the day. And um, out of all of the rides, what would you say are the most challenging um, to maintain? Would it be the bigger ones or some of the smaller ones a little more challenging? Well, I, I, I think that the, the Island in the Sky is probably the most complex ride that we have out here. Uh, it's very big and it holds a lot of people. Uh, but the little rides, you know, they, they have a lot of intricate parts, the interactions and stuff that the kids they, they they like messing with that stuff, so that's where we really need to focus our, our efforts on. Yeah, and it looks like you pretty much just about everything has been open for the previews, I noticed. Yes, so. we, we're doing pretty good. We have one more ride to commission with the state today, and that's going to happen at about 4 o'clock. So we'll be ready tomorrow. So when everybody comes out for the grand opening, Legoland will be open for business. Legoland will be ready. All right, thank you so much for chatting with us.